I know nothing about cars. Nothing about no, cars. No, I don't as well. But I like this. It's a really, really clever idea. No, it's great. It's um, two teams uh, who love to do mechanics, right. but they're not, uh, some do it as a professional job, some don't. Um, they're, they're all mates. You have two teams, and um, they they get revealed two classic cars. <laughs> the, the the good thing about it is, is that they've never they're not allowed to have worked on that car before ever in their right. life. So okay. it's um, and then they have to basically piece it together, and whoever pieces it together in the f first and gets to start the car gets to right. keep it. Wow, that's a fantastic prize. That's yeah, really some good. like it, some don't. <laughs> they don't all <laughs> they like do. the car. Do you do like proper series car racing? Do you do all of that? Or is that uh, something you'd want? To I do, do racing as a passion. Right. Um, not it's not necessarily serious. Right. Uh, that, that's, you just love it. That's for the big boys, you know. Right. I like to do historic racing and not necessarily mo ah, modern racing. So um, okay. I do the Goodwood thing every year and dress up in the. Um, Fifties, uh, forties, fifties gear, and like oh, everybody else does, and it's, that um, would be great. I'd recommend it to anyone to go to Goodwood because it's um, it's just a spectacle and really good it's fun. It's the best, and is it? And it's so very different from what you do in your day job. So different. Is that why so, you love it so much? Yeah, it's completely different, and it's actually getting the time to do it because normally race meetings are on weekends, and um, I've got you know I've got four children, so you have it's indeed. A, it's, a, it's a bit of a balancing act. <laughs> so, um, yeah. but when you can, you do. When I Look at that. that is, are they good to drive, those cars? It says the women that can't drive very well. But, I mean, are they, do you enjoy that whole process because it's so different from modern cars? It's completely different. It's, um, you know, you are driving the car. You know, right. it's got gears. It doesn't have any um, driving aids where you can... Sure. You, where it will stop you from the crashing or it's got, you know, it's got... Um, what do you call it, the, the steering on it where it will actually allow you to... So it's, it's much more... You have to have more skill, I guess. Yeah, you do, really? and that, and it's learning. You, you're learning for, you know, you, you're learning for your life, really. No, and very much so. Yeah. Do you know, love, I cannot believe it's 30 years. You're doing a 30-year tour for yeah. Take That. How did that happen? <laughs> I don't know where it went. I, I don't really know do not where I it really went. I really don't. Oh, no, not Luke. that, not oh, that Luke, picture again. how cute they you always, are. They always pull that one out. Oh, but it's adorable. What was Gary thinking of with that hair, though? That's bad hair. You, you should know. have told him. You were his friends. That's, when, that's when I was trying to grow a beard, but I couldn't. Obviously, um, oh, look. clean shaven there. <laughs> yeah. But do you know what? You guys came back bigger, better than ever. And I really think, watching you in the last tour, I think you have really come into your own. I really yeah. do. Because yeah. I think you were quite shy before, a little bit. I'm still shy, you know, I feel it's, yeah. it's very strange doing TVs on your own uh, for the first time It must ever. be really weird without the guys. I'm wondering where Mark and Gary is, you know, it's a, it's, it's a difficult one. And yeah, it's, it's a maturity really, coming right. back after all those years and coming back in 2007. A couple of us had kids and it right. uh, makes you appreciate life more. And yeah. Do all the kids come? I mean, I know you've got like, one teenager right the way down to a toddler, really. Yeah, from 19 down to uh, two years old. Well, that so keeps you on um, your toes. <laughs> It's, it's tiring, believe me. I mean, it's sleep deprivation is the worst. I can imagine. Yeah. I can imagine. But do they like the music? Uh, no, no. Oh, no. come on. <laughs> they love getting involved. They love the dancing. They love the singing and everything. So. And I think it's like what I was saying to you earlier on. I think you're better now. All of you are better now than you were even back then when you were babies. Yeah. I do. I really yeah. do. And I, and, I, and I think you're right. It comes from maturity and a bit more, maybe just a bit more confidence. Yeah, a it's, bit. it's like appreciating life, appreciating yeah. what we've got and knowing how lucky we were in the beginning when we got put in those positions, you know. Because you were babies? We were, well, I think I was 21. I mean, not that's... quite a baby, but 21. No, but a young, like, young, yeah, young guy young, to get young, the yeah. rust right into it and to, to be able, not just to survive it, but to survive it and then to come back even better. It's extraordinary. And the tour, the 30th tour, they're actually going to, for everybody that can't see it, there's a great idea, I think it's on the 8th of June, it's going to be in movie theatres. Yes. That's a brilliant idea. It's the final one in Cardiff, which I believe there's still tickets for that and Anfield. Right. Um, it's the final one and they're putting it in, into, uh, I think, 800 cinemas Fantastic. Um, UK in the UK. So it's, it's um, going to be amazing. Well, that sounds brilliant. And you can actually go to... I mean, that'd be a great night out. Yeah. That you can go to that. Get that glass that you could put the whole bottle of Prosecco in, because that was quite good, was that? <laughs> <laughs> and then go and watch, go and watch that. It's a, it is a fantastic night out, though. It yeah. really is. It really is good. Do you think, maybe in the, maybe the 40th anniversary, do you think maybe Jason would ever come back? 
Is he, I don't or think is he so. just doing his own thing? Is he quite happy? He's doing his own thing. He's right. happy where he is, and he's, um, you know, he, he's he, he's the sort of person that at the moment he wants to keep a distance from it. So I we get don't that. Tend, we don't tend yeah. to bother him. So he's, no, and uh, if he wants to, he can. He'll be ready. The door's open for of him. Of course whenever. it is. That's lovely. I think that's really good, and I think the way that you guys have all just conducted yourselves throughout the years has been impeccable. Yeah. Impeccable. We're good boys, really. You are lovely boys. <laughs> and I mean, do you know what? You should do a master class for all for all the, the up and coming bands. They should just sit and talk, sit, sort of sit at the feet of the wise ones. That's it. This, this is how to last 30 years. <laughs> this is how you do it. It really is.